Hey everybody, today I'm going to be starting to cut this Lions logo, the three layered logo. As you can see, I already cut my holes out, pre drilled the insert holes because the white uh, is going to be cut out to expose the white layer when this is all done. It's going to be in three layers. I'm going to cut out the black and white layers on the quarter inch MDF that I have here, and the blue layer I'll cut out with a quarter inch, or I'm sorry, half inch birch plywood, which is right here. So I'm going to be using this as a top layer to give it more of a depth look. Three layer stack look always looks best with the birch on top, in my opinion. This is about an eight inch by eight inch image. I already have my masked MDF here. So the first layer I'm gonna cut out and then I'm gonna add the second layer. I'm gonna put it from here to here and then I'm gonna start the second layer. So first things first, I gotta undo this to get, undo the clamp, the thumb screw. Just loosen this up a little bit, undo the clamp. So it exposes the blade right here. And then you just find out where it is on the back. And then feed it through, kind of like that. I probably could use a little bit bigger drill bit to make it a little bit easier, but there's such a small cutout, so I don't want to use too, too much of a bit, too big of a bit there. So I clamp it down, make sure everything's tight, and then I'm going to start slow. On the inner cuts, I always like to start slow and just follow along. You don't want to go too fast on these because they're so small. And then just to kind of get the rest of it, kind of bring it back around. And in order to cut the, the curves out, you have to go really slowly, very systematic, and paying close attention to it. So there's my first inner cut. Okay, so as you can see, and I'll just do, uh, take a, some really small sandpaper, roll it up, and then I can get down in that little crack right there. And then I'm going to cut up the, the next holes here as well. You feed it through, tighten up the clamp a little bit, pull the clamp down, make sure it's tight and in place. I got the little blower, the dust blower here, it gets the dust out of the way so that when you're cutting you can easily see the clean line. In order to prevent table hop, it's always nice to start with a small piece and because you don't want this thing bouncing around, I always like to get the piece as small as possible so it's easy to maneuver and turn on the table. Uh, for tight corners like this, I like to back out a little bit, come back in, circle it around, okay, and as you can see, it comes out. Very carefully, maneuver back into here. Always hold with two hands. Okay, and as you can see, that part's cut. It's kind of tedious to open and close this clamp a lot, but it is what it is. So as you can see, it's all cut out. I'm going to have to sand this on the back side later. But as you can kind of see, the inner pieces are, are that's pretty much how you do the inner pieces. I'll get the uh, inner pieces later, but just for time's sake, I'll start cutting this thing out. I like to speed it up a little bit. As you do this more and more, you get more comfortable going faster. Again, I got the dust blower here. Go slower on the curve.
Now for this section here, I like to back out a little bit when you get a really tight corner. You like to back out and kind of come at it at a different angle and then when I'm done, I'll go around and clean up the whole thing so it's easier to maneuver. I got the sand so close I have to kind of break off little pieces as I go but now I have an easier piece to work with and maneuver a lot simpler And as you can see right here, this little piece right here, I left. I'm going to come back later and get that little piece because of the angle I had was kind of difficult. So I'll show you how I do that. I'll take care of it right now so you can see. See, and then there you have a clean cut. So on this also, if you try to do these too sharp, what's going to happen is you're going to end up actually snapping the blades, especially if you're going too fast. So again, I like to clean up the little spots later. Just get the basic simple cuts down first, and then I'll go, go over and then clean it up. It's a lot easier and it looks a lot better too. So there's most of it right here it didn't take me too long to cut out but again as you get better at this and you, be, and you do it more frequently you're gonna get really fast at it and just go with the speed of what's comfortable okay again I'm cleaning up those those fine cuts um, some of the stuff will of course need to be sanded So what I'll do next, now that I use the masking tape, I'm going to take this layer. Actually, I'm going to do that until when I'm done. I'm going to cut these out first, and then I'll show you the rest of how it works. But I can just show you for time purposes. Here's my scrap piece. So now that I cut that first layer out, I have another layer here. Apply it right here. You may need to add some more saw, uh, spray adhesive to this. Um, as it's not sticking so well because it gets a little bit of sawdust in there. But uh, again, that's kind of how that works. And then um, we'll finish this up. And I'm going to show you the finished product once this video is all done. Please like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy the video.